There was a highway robber, a thief, very famous at his time. He was in love with one girl and he had the habit of sneaking into her house some way and watching her, observing her for some time. And in night, he would go and attack caravans, hedge caravans, travelers, and he would strip them of their property and the wealth and their belongings. He was notorious to the extent that a lot of the caravans most of the time would change route to avoid that area. One night he climbs up the wall of the house of that girl that he loves and he sneaks into the house and he, as he was making his way into the house someone was praying Qiyam al -Layl. Someone was standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praying at night alone reciting the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala أَلَمْ يَعْنِ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَن تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ Hasn't the time come yet for the believers that their hearts pay heed and feel humility to the words of Allah? Hasn't that time come yet? And the words shook him and wrapped his heart. And he was moved deep inside. It hit a chord. He started thinking about these words and he forgot the main reason why he came to this house. And the only response that was on his tongue, his spontaneous response was, Bala ya Rabbi qad an. Indeed, my Lord, the time has come. And that moment he changed. So he went out of his house, roaming aimlessly, contemplating his life, contemplating his past, his behavior his reputation and his future and his relationship with Allah. He ended up with a group of people who gathered together and they lit a fire and they were travelers, strangers. He asked their permission to join them. He sat with them and they were disputing whether to spend the night there or to carry on their journey. And one of them said, we should stay here because there is that famous thief that famous robber, that's his area. And if we carry on traveling, we might or he might jump on us and you know, we'll be in trouble. So let's spend the night here. Then we will set off in the morning. And the name they mentioned, the name of that thief was this very person. It made him think to himself, what did I do that people fear me that much? What kind of curse I have become to humans, to humanity? that people don't even feel safe about their lives and about their property because of me. All of this made him question his life, question his way of life. And he, then he made the decision that I will change because it's my responsibility. It's not someone else's responsibility to change me and set me on the right course. It's my own initiative and if I don't take it, it might never happen. And I will face the consequences on the day of judgment. And that's exactly what he did. And he became one of the famous scholars, one of the famous worshippers in the history of Islam. And that's Al-Fudayl ibn Iyab. That's the story of Al-Fudayl ibn Iyab. Until today, the books that talk about our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how to purify ourselves, how to become better Muslims, better believers, have dozens of his beautiful statements, full of wisdom, who was one day a thief, famous one. What does that tell us? What lessons can we take from this story? Is that it's our responsibility to change. Life in general is about change. Life is a game of change. ألم يعن للذين آمنوا أن تخشع قلوبهم لذكر الله 
أن تخشع قلوبهم لذكر الله وما نزل من الحق ولا يكونوا كالذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبل فطال عليهم الأمد فقست قلوبهم وكثير منهم فاسقون اعلموا أن الله يحيي الأرض بعد موتها قد بينا لكم الآيات لعلكم تعقلون. And stay updated by joining our network's social links.